In this video, we're going to take a look at how we build design intent into our part models using feature type. Some of the other different ways in which we build design intent into our parts include the options for the features that we create, our parent-child relationships, the order in which we create features, relations, and behavioral modeling. And behavioral modeling involves creating data analysis features and feasibility and optimization studies. Here I am in Creo Parametric and I have a model open that contains a cylinder. And there are many different ways in which you could create a cylinder feature in Creo Parametric. Let's take a look at four of them. So let me bring back my model tree. This one was created with an extrude. So for example, I can sketch on a datum plane. And for my sketch, I'm just going to locate a little bit off from here. Let's make a circle. And I'll make a, di a diameter. And I'm not going to change the dimensions. Let's hit the check mark and then extrude it. And I'm going to use a symmetric depth. And let's drag out the depth to some value and hit the check mark. So there we have it created with an extrude. Now let's take a look at another method. Let's create the same cylinder using a revolve feature. And to start off with, let me create a datum plane to sketch on. And that's good. Just want to move it away from the other different features in here. And let's create a sketch. And for this particular sketch, I'm going to use a rectangle. And let's throw in our center line for our axis of revolution. And I'm going to hit the check mark. Now let's revolve. And revolving it through 360 degrees. Yes, indeed, we have a cylinder. Now let's take a look at another method. We'll take a look at using a sweep. And for creating a sweep, again, let's create another datum plane just to get some distance between these different features. And let's drag it over here. And I'm going to sketch on that plane. Let me just sketch a line for my trajectory. And it's just going to be a straight line. Let's hit the check mark. Now we'll click on the sweep command. And we will generate this as a solid feature. Let's hit the sketch button. And for the sketch of this, it's just going to be a circle. Let me hit the check mark to get out of sketch mode. And there we have our cylinder created with a sweep. For our last method, we are going to create a blend. And I'm going to start off by creating a datum plane to start the feature. Let's locate it. That's yeah, a value 5. That is good. And we will create our blend. And on the surface, let me create a circle. And hit the check mark for the next section. Let's drag it out a distance over here. Let's go to the sections tab and I can sketch this section. Let me change to my sketch view and we're going to sketch a circle. And I'm just eyeballing it. Let's hit the check mark and for all intents and purposes we have another uh, cylinder created on here. So again five different methods. We have it created with an extrude. We have one created with a revolve. We have one created with a sweep. And we have one created with a blend. So which of these methods is the best? Well, if you're watching this video, you can probably guess that that is a trick question. Which method we should use depends on our design intent. In other words, what choices do we expect might happen later on? Let's switch over to an assembly that has a bunch of different potential future changes. So here we have the different methods of creating cylinders in different parts and these different choices reflect the different changes that we might expect to happen later on. So for example, if you think that your cylinder might turn into say a block where you want to control the shape of the main section, maybe you want to use an extrude. But if you have a situation where the angle of rotation might change, that's a situation in which you might want to use a revolve feature. And 
if you might have different sections at the ends of the feature, maybe your circle is going to change to a square on the other side, that would be a situation for a blend. And if your cylinder might end up changing shape such that the path would need to change, then you would want to use a sweep. So again, design intent is all about making these choices to build intelligence into our models so that we can accommodate future changes later on. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.